Hey, I'm Kendrick Johnson with themedschool.com. This is a UMLE, USMLE Step 2 review on rheumatic fever. It'll be a quick video uh, because there's not too much that we need to talk about. But rheumatic fever is often considered to be a disease of the past or a disease of developing nations, which is a fairly accurate view considering that in the U.S. we have close to 0% mortality from rheumatic fever. There is some suggestion that there's a re-emergence of the disease, um, and they don't really know why that might be happening, but still it's pretty low and uh, we don't have people dying from it. Worldwide, though, we have close to a half million cases a year and uh, 233,000 uh, 233, deaths uh, worldwide per year. So it still is a significant problem, especially in developing nations. So the presentation will hopefully look like uh, a strep throat, um, meaning that we'll catch it before it ever becomes a uh, rheumatic fever. So we have uh, this uh, exudate on the uh, tonsils here. Um, it's going to just look like an exudate of pharyngitis. And um, this could be, uh, you know, this picture could be a picture of mono. Um, or in, in rare cases, a, a viral pharyngitis. But in most cases, if you have a, an exudative pharyngitis like this, the first thing you're going to think of is going to be a strep. So we're going to be treating this um, when it still is a, a pharyngitis and before it ever becomes in a rheumatic fever. So, But if it does progress beyond this stage and becomes rheumatic fever, then we have uh, the Jones criteria to help us identify what a rheumatic fever is. So Jones, uh, some people like to use this in mnemonic spelling uh, Jones with a heart instead of an O. And uh, J stands for joints. It's a polyarthritis. Um, the heart uh, is for carditis. You get a pancarditis. Um, with a mid-diastolic murmur. The N is for nodules. You get these sub subcutaneous nodules. And the E is for erythema marginatum. And the S is for Sydenham's chorea, which is uh, kind of a, a dance-like um, uh, choreiform disease. The minor criteria um, are fever, an elevated sed, sed rate, uh, arthralgias, and a long PR interval. So one thing to be careful with is the arthralgia is not equivalent to the polyarthritis. So um, on a test question, you might see, uh, you know, an arthralgia, and uh, and you might mistake it for being a major criteria. So how to treat it? Uh, if it's a child, you give them 250 milligrams of penicillin uh, for 10 days. If it's an adult, you give them 500 milligrams. So um, I'm sure that there's some other important information you'd like to have included in here. Um, this is kind of what's included in the rev review materials, plus a little bit that I found on up to date. So if you have anything that you think would be important, please let me know and I'll include it. And I... Uh, you can email me at kendrick at themedschool.com or you can leave a comment below. Thank you.